At one time or another, we've all had to deal with a flight delay, which can be uh, quite annoying. And Stephanie Condon is joining us now to talk about uh, how an IT outage could possibly uh, be the reason behind these delays. And Stephanie, just start with, in, you know, kind of in general, what the report found. Sure. Hey, Karen. Um, so this was a report by the Government Accountability Office, a nonpartisan federal office. They looked at 12 airlines that operate in the U.S. and found um, from 2015 through 2017, there were at least 34 IT outages. And, um, you know, this number didn't really sound that big to me when I heard it, to be honest. But when you start thinking about the impact of each outage, you can really see how it can be a major problem for um, the airlines and for customers. Um, at least five of the outages re uh, resulted in over 800 flight delays or cancellations. Uh, and 14 outages resulted in a ground stop, which means that all flights going to a specific airport have to stop. Um, and some of these ground stops lasted for several hours. So it can have a huge impact on the airlines, have a ripple effect. And it was pretty widespread through the industry. Um, of the 34 outages, or uh, they impacted 11 of the 12 airlines that the GAO reviewed. Um, so it's a big problem for all the airlines. It was also interesting hearing the way airline experts uh, describe the problem to the GAO. Uh, they said the impact can be just as bad or if not worse in some cases than extreme weather. And we all know how big of a problem that is for airlines. Uh, they did say that IT outages happen much less frequently than bad weather, so that's good news. On the other hand, they're unexpected, of course, unlike weather that airlines can prepare for. So when an outage hits, there's basically no warning. Yeah, so not only dealing with the IT outage, but also turbulence. That's enough to make us all <laughs> a little bit queasy. Uh, so, you know, when you talk about what the airlines, because just about all of them have been impacted by this, what is it that they can do or plan to do so that these are at least kept to a lower number? Yeah, well, um, it's a hard problem to deal with because their IT demands are so high. They need around the clock availability and access to real time information basically throughout the system 24 seven. Um, so it's a big challenge to um, keep their IT infrastructure running and up to speed all the time. And since it's an old industry, they basically have a lot of the same problems that other established industries are familiar with, aging and in infrastructure, um, increasingly complex environments and tight budgets, of course, uh, and that can lead to hardware, software problems, network connectivity issues you know, the whole thing. So um, of the 12 airlines that the GAO reviewed, uh, some said they're expanding their data center footprints. Others are moving uh, more operations to the cloud. Uh, two airlines said they're dealing with connectivity issues by relying on multiple uh, telecom providers. And then there's a bunch of uh, contingency planning and recovering, recovery strategies like routine system testing and outage drills. Um, so they're managing. Yeah, and we all have to manage, right? Uh, you know, as passengers, that we have to just kind of take it down for a second and be uh, relax a little bit when it comes to problems like this uh, when we're trying to board a plane. So what are consumers, though? What has been their reaction to this? Well, you know, it's interesting um, because even though it is a widespread problem, basically every airline has had to deal with this, customers may not realize what's going on. And that's been reflected in the complaints that the Department of Transportation receives. Um, the GOT usually receives between 15 and, or actually between 17,000 and 20,000 complaints a year related to airlines. Um, and, but only from, uh, from that period of 2015 through 2017, only 126 specifically mentioned IT problems. Um, and what's happening is that the airlines aren't really obligated to tell us when that's the problem. Um, they are obligated to, you know, uh, to compensate passengers through what's called the contracts of carriage. That's the contract that you have with an airline when you buy a ticket that says, you know, if you're delayed for so many hours, the airline owes you you know, tickets or this much kind of compensation. But the GAO reviewed those contracts and none of them explicitly mention IT problems. Um, and some consumer advocates um, that the GAO spoke with expressed concern that since none of these contracts mention IT problems specifically, the airlines, you know, they could potentially 
chalk up this kind of problem to what's known as, you know, an act of God, something like extreme weather that's out of the airline's control. And they'll say, well, since it's out of our hands, we don't really owe passengers anything. Um, so passengers may not get much in the way of compensation if there are problems and they may be left in the dark. Um, even when airlines report um, delays to the government, which they're required to do, uh, IT problems can fall under a broader category like airline caused problems, which obviously could refer to any number of things. Um, so they're not really telling the government much about, um, you know, the true impact of IT problems on their industry, and they're not telling customers too much either. So it's hard to say um, exactly how much this is a problem for people. Yeah, because, you know, obviously uh, weather we know of, and that's an obvious problem. Mechanical problems, uh, I've heard that several times where they'll come on and say they're having an issue and that kind of thing. But definitely IT, that is not something that they uh, make us all aware of. So, well, this is an interesting study, uh, Stephanie. And if you'd like to learn more, you can check out Stephanie's article on ZDNet.